About 20 residents in the town of Dodge in Trempolo County have been displaced by flooding, according to the town's fire department. Several residents are at risk of losing their homes and their belongings. News 8 Scott Behrens tells us how the floodings are threatening people's livelihood. Several of the streets in Dodge are completely underwater near the Trempolo River. Multiple buildings are now inaccessible, and one local farmer I spoke with says floodwaters are threatening to destroy his produce. Never thought I'd ever see water like this down here on this farm. Mike Hesley, a farmer in the town of Dodge, says the flooding on his field started a couple of days ago. All the water melting and from all that rain we had, it's just, it's just more than... Uh, than it can handle. Between the rain and snow melting from the surrounding hillside, Hesley estimates there's easily three feet worth of water on his farm. It just came so much so fast that uh, um, this is the worst we've ever seen. As of now, his corn and grain haven't been affected, but that will change if the water gets any higher. It's been going up since yesterday. Hopefully we'll get It'll stay cool at night, so it kind of slows the melting down. Even worse, the farm's cows are also in danger, and they can't easily be rescued. We have cattle below, and they're still in the water, but they're going to be okay because they've got the sheds there that they can go into. Still, they say they have it a lot better than their neighbors who are losing their houses. The town is getting the brunt of it, I think. Several of the streets near the Trempolo River are completely flooded, leaving many of the town's buildings uninhabitable. But no matter how bad the flooding gets, Hesley says the town will get through it. I think we're going to be okay. Everybody just, you know, helps each other out always in a time like this. You know, everybody pulls together. To help the residents displaced by flooding, the Red Cross is operating an emergency shelter in Arcadia. That shelter is located in the basement of the Holy Family Catholic Church at 223 Maple Street. Mount. All right, thanks, Scott. The shelter will remain open at least until tomorrow. It has blankets, cots, food, and water. Volunteers say everyone is welcome to their supplies, even if they're not spending the night.